Let's, let's talk about the, the All-Ireland Hurling final replay, uh, Vincent. A lot of talk about tactics. Uh, both teams have been announced. They're very similar to what we would have uh, anticipated. But do you expect something different to be thrown in, a, a, some kind yeah. of genie out of the bottle? I do. Um, I don't think you can really go into a replay thinking what you did the last time is going to be good enough. Mm. Um, Davy Fitz obviously didn't play the sweeper the last time. I don't think he'll play a sweeper this time either. But I wouldn't be surprised if there may be changes to the named starting lineups just before the whistle. Um, everyone's going to try to get an edge. Um, I think Clare psychologically may, may, may just have a slight advantage in that Donald O'Donovan got that extraordinary point. Mm -hmm. Just thinking, looking at that, what a gorgeous piece of video. And you know, John has made a very good point about clubs being neglected because of this, but I'm selfish. <laughs> I want to see more of this. And, and I think it's, it's the greatest game on earth with respect to Jer. And you know, I think the club players will want to see more of this. And I think the people who are paying the money will want to pay the money to see more of this. It's, it's just been the greatest hurling summer of my lifetime. Mm. Just to mention about, the, to dwell on the tactics, John, I mean, we, we saw the sweeper system working very effectively for Clare during the summer, but Davey went away from it for the All-Ireland final. Do you expect him, he will return to that? Well, I, I suppose you'd have to say that, that for most of the game, Clare dominated. You know, Clare won the personal jewels all over the field. At the same time, they conceded three goals. Mm. And over the course of the five games that they've played with Cork up to now, they've conceded uh, eight goals. Now, they've only scored one. Mm. So if I was looking at that stat and I was saying, you know, we're after scoring a hundred and something points, which Clare have scored, but they've conceded eight goals against Cork in five games, I'd be going back to the sweeper system even though your, your system the last day did work very well, but you did concede three goals, and they were the difference between Clare not winning the game. Sure, I know you've played a lot of uh, big games and, and, and uh, replays as well, but mentally, who do you think has the advantage here? I don't think you can probably answer that honestly uh, yeah. until the result. I think the result will show. I think the team that maybe gets away from all the distractions uh, after the game and maybe gets themselves into some sort of bubble and just focuses on themselves again, gets the, the body right, but I think in particularly getting the mind right will be the key factor uh, to the, determining the, the final results. Mm. Um, I think I obviously watched the game as well, it was an unbelievable game and I agree with Vincent, I think it is the best game on earth, it's better than football to watch when it's played, uh, akin yeah. to what we saw there. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward, it was going to be an amazing encounter and it was some of the tactical battles that we have seen throughout the season with the hurling, um, it's going to be interesting. You know, they say about the All-Ireland Finals, they're different. Heroes emerge from mm -hmm. you know, the, the shadows that you don't actually expect. Now, we, we saw Bernard Brogan, who we know has the magic. Who do you think will come out of the shadows and be a hero next Well, next we saw Fergie Tui, for example, in 95. And, mm -hmm. and I think Conor Ryan the last day, what a performance at centre-back. You know, absolutely magnificent. It's very hard to say because... You know, certainly the way Clare are playing, and, and the one thing that we discovered the last day is they're not slaves to a system. We, oh. th we, we actually were defining Clare by their system up to the final. We thought Patrick Donnellan sitting in the pocket in front of the full back line was abs an absolutely essential oh. part of their game. But what they showed the last day is they can go man to man. Oh. And they, score, they got 25 scores in the All Ireland final. It's almost unheard of that that's not enough to win. John is absolutely right. The concession of goals is the big worry for Clare. Mm. And I think what you'll find is, obviously one of the big debates has been Anthony Nash and 20 metre freeze and penalties. I think you'll find if Clare are going to foul men, they'll foul them further out the field and they mm. won't give Nash an opportunity to get in there again. So in a word, Vincent Hogan, because it's voting time, Cork or Clare to be All-Ireland champions? Clare. Clare. Ger Brennan? Clare. Clare. John Allen. <laughs> <laughs> the responsibility rests with you for Championship Matters. Cork or Clare, in a word. A hesitant vote for Cork. <laughs> There's a surprise, John Allen. <laughs>